Okay, family, friends, and bushcraft buddies. We're going to do another episode of Truck Drivers Cooking with Casey. And I'm going to show you how the night before you leave, on a Sunday night before you leave the house, how you can get something ready, put it in the crock pot. The crock pot sometimes is your best friend. Put it in the crock pot, plug it in in the morning, and let it cook all day. And then you will have one heck of a good meal at the end of the day. Stick around and I'll show you how to make a good meal in a crock pot in the truck going down the road. Okay, here we are back. I'm going to show you how to put something together the night before you leave and cook it all day in the crock pot and be really, really good when you pull over at the end of the day. I'm going to save this other half an onion and half of these frozen green pe I got these green peppers out of my garden this year. Froze them up in small packages like this to be able to use them whenever I want to. I'm going to save half this onion, half these green peppers for my lunch tomorrow. And you're going to get to see what I'm doing for my lunch tomorrow, but that's another video. So what I done was I cut up half an onion, chopped it. I know I don't have to show you how to do that. Goes in the crock pot. If you don't make a mess on the stove while you're doing this, you're not doing it right. Take half of these here green peppers. They're frozen still. Go ahead and toss them in there. Take this other half onion, put it back in here for lunch tomorrow. With the green peppers, it's all going to be cut up in something anyway. Here's the easy way of doing it. Get you some Italian beef seasoning mix. Italian beef seasoning mix. I use the Louis brand. Good stuff. We just dump this in the crock pot. One cup of water. That's all you need, one cup. Stir that up real good. Get it all dissolved best you can. That's all the seasons you're going to need for your Italian beef. These are going to be Italian beefs. I bought this roast the other day. Got it on sale. It was a big roast. I'm cutting it in half because I got a small crock pot. It goes right in the crock pot. All the seasonings you need was in that package, other than I put some onion in there because I like onion with mine. I like green peppers with mine. Everything's in there you need right now. Put the lid on it, stick it in the refrigerator. Tomorrow morning, I put it in the truck, I plug it in, and it cooks all day. So tomorrow when I'm eating this, I'll get it back out and show you how good it looks. I bought me some nice little hoagie buns, the long hoagie buns to have with my Italian beef. I'll rip that apart tomorrow, make Italian beef out of it when it's done cooking. And I will toast the Italian buns, the, the, the hoagie buns, on my George Foreman. And you're going to see tomorrow just how good this is. God bless. Have a great night.
Okay, family, friends, bushcraft buddies. Remember I told you last night that I was putting something together for today. Uh, I let it cook all day. I'm now sitting in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I left my home in Indiana this morning. This is cooked all day. Show you what I'm going to do here. I got my George Foreman cooker, my grill, all head up over there. Hoagie bun. Yes. Hoagie bun goes in George Foreman grill. Shut the lid for a few minutes. Get that all toasted up real good. I'll be back with you here in just a few minutes. I'm not going to let you sit there and watch my buns toast. I'll be back here just shortly. Okay, as you can see, I got my buns toasted. Now watch this goodness I'm going to put together. I got to move a few things around here where I got room because I am in the cab of a semi. Remember that beef that I cooked all day? I cooked it in that Italian seasoning. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I shredded it up. I toasted my buns. Getting it out here. As Bill Gowdy would say, oh, look at that goodness. Look at that. I got my cinnamon rolls. I got my drug of choice. And you know what? An Italian beef just ain't an Italian beef. Without my peppers. Gotta have my pepperoncinis. Set this back out of the way. I even got my dipping sauce out of the pan there. All we have to do is fold this up, dip it in the dipping sauce. Oh, look at that! Oh my God, that's good. This concludes another episode of Truckers Cooking with Casey. This just goes to show you, you can eat just as good out here as you can at home. God bless. Have a good day.